If you don't read the newspaper, you're uninformed. If you do read it, you're misinformed. Assalamu alaikum, guys. The media's number one role is to report the news. Yeah, it's not difficult. One job. But many a times they have proven that they can't even manage to do this one simple job. And so cat obsessions and breaking marriages becomes priority. But in their defense, yeah, cats and marriages are, you know, nah, I got nothing. As you may have heard, there was a suicide bomb attack on Christmas Day in Nashville in the USA, and it was done by a white terrorist. As I'm sure you guys can possibly imagine, the word terrorist was nowhere to be seen, of course. It's, it's gone. I'm sure we know and we're used to that sort of stuff. But this time, the news surpassed their levels of stupidity. You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. I mean, the Sun newspaper praised them so much, calling him a good man, techie, and mentioning that he's got family problems to such a degree that I honestly thought these guys were writing his resume or some sort of CV of some sort. The Daily Mail on the other hand blamed everything under the sun other than the individual. I mean they blamed his father's dementia, they, <laughs> they blamed conspiracy theories and 5G and not forgetting CNN who blamed his car for exploding other than the individual that was driving the car. I mean, this is nothing new, yeah? Newspapers in the past have used adjectives like baby-faced and angelic. But bear in mind, these are only for white terrorists, yeah? Don't get it twisted. But when it comes to Muslims, yeah? Even the babies who are unable at this stage to control their own saliva and their own bowel movements, even these little babies are qualified to be jihadists. And on top of that, governments are molding and playing with their own law whilst telling us to obey the law. These individuals are letting off their own war criminals scot-free. In fact, not even allowing things to reach the courts. Is there any wonder why you've got artists like Stormzy? I do want to use this to say Theresa May is a pagan. Who? in a sold out crowd in Glastonbury and in the Brits say stuff like this. And you've got thousands of people that resonate and say it back, even conservative voters as well. Another day, another headline, another hypocrisy. What can you do? The bare minimum that we guys can do is educate ourselves on the matter, learn how to articulate ourselves not waste our existence trying to fit in with the crowd, rather be in a position that we can disseminate the peaceful and unadulterated message of Islam, not relying on the BBC and on their depiction of uh, Islam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so let us use stuff like this to motivate ourselves because we know Islam will succeed. Yeah, Allah's promised us it will. It's only a matter of time. But the question will be, will Allah utilize yourself in order to do so? Or are you just going to be another person forgotten in the sands of history? Let's leave it there until next time. Assalamu alaikum.